Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In this video, we will discuss Con Vault file system and backup sets. Please like, share, comment, or suggest. Subscribe for more videos, and you can follow us on Instagram. In this video, we will try discussing in detail most of Con Vault file system. In order to back up file system of a Windows machine, you need to install Com Vault file system agent on the server. Please note, the file system agent is the base platform. On top of this, you can have any other agent installed, like SQL Server for example. In the ComCell browser, expand client computers. Select the client, for which you wish to configure file system backup. You will see all installed agents under the client. In our case it is just file system agent. In the navigation pane, you see the agent type, install date, and description if any manually added. Let's check, what options are available, for the file system agent. Right click on file system agent. All tasks. Under file system we have default backup set, which is created by default, when you install file system agent. Let's discuss about backup set. The backup set is designed to protect all the data that is on the client, using sub-clients. If default backup set can satisfy your requirements, then you do not have to create, any new backup set. A backup set is a logical grouping of sub-clients, to protect all the data, that is defined as content to be backup. Backup sets and sub-clients, provide the flexibility to group data into containers, that you can configure and manage independently. The Windows File System Agent supports, default backup set, user defined backup set, and on demand backup set. You can backup the contents specified in the default backup set, using this option. This will trigger backup, for all the sub clients, that are created under the default backup set. Create new backup set. This would be user defined backup set. The name of the client computer. IData agent type, which is file system. Name the new backup set name. Select the desired storage policy. There is one default backup set already created, but if you would like, then you can make this as the default backup set, by enabling this option. Once done, click OK. Convault would automatically pop up, the backup schedule window. In this window, you can automate to schedule policy, by selecting one from the list. Create a new schedule. Or do not schedule it. Once you made your choice, click OK. You see the new, custom backup set, created successfully. Why custom backup set? You can back up the same data on a client computer more than once, which means, you can make multiple copies of the same data. This helps manage data sets, independently on the client. For example, suppose you have frequently modified project files, that require frequent backups, compared to other data, which takes long time to backup, and can be backed up less frequently. In this case, the default backup set, and sub-client can perform the less frequent backups, of the entire drive or volume. For the more frequent backup of, frequently modified project files, you would create, and configure a user-defined backup set, and sub-client. Create new archive set. The Commvault file archiving solution, enables you to move data, to a secondary storage and use it as an archive copy. The name of the client computer. IData agent type, which is file system. Name the new archive set name. New manual archiving set is created. It will check for the files configured for archiving, and based on the rule set, it will move the file to the storage and leave behind a shortcut. 
So, the actual file is on the secondary archive storage, and a shortcut of few KB left on primary storage. If you need the file, then double click, or open the shortcut, called stub. The actual file or data is recalled from the secondary storage. Archiving subclients hold the rules for archiving. Archiving subclients are logical containers of data to be archived. When you create an archive set, a default subclient is automatically created. The default subclient content should be enough to protect all the data. You can create additional, user defined subclients to manage specific data. We will discuss about subclient in another video. New on demand backup set. The name of the client computer. IData agent type, which is file system. Name the new backup set name. Select a storage policy for this backup set. Once done, click OK. Convault would automatically pop up the backup schedule window. In this window, you cannot automate to already created schedule policy. You can either create a new schedule or do not schedule it. Once you made your choice, click OK. On demand backup sets support only on demand data protection operations. It protects data specified at the point of the backup operation. The content is specified like another other subclient, which we will discuss in another video. Please note, only one subclient is allowed for an on demand backup set. You cannot create additional subclients. The subclient in an on demand backup set does not have content configured by default, like other ones. Rather, you specify content each time you perform a backup. Release license. This will release the license for the file system. On the confirm pop-up window, click yes if you sure what you are doing. Once license is released, the client will be shown as grayed out, in other words decommissioned. You can set operational window for the file system backups. Operational window defines when the backup should run and the duration when the backup should not run. We will try cover this topic in detail in another video. Hover over view. You can view the backup history for this file system. We discussed about the filter options in our other video. You can view the restore history for this file system, if any performed, and if yes, what were the results? Schedules. List all the schedules associated with respective subclient that are configured for this file system. You can add this client to the favorite of the Comcell browser. Properties. Client name displays the name of the client computer iData agent displays the identity of the agent that is installed on the client computer. Version shows the agent version. Installed date displays the date on which the agent was installed or upgraded on the server. NAS Restore enabled. Yes, specifies that the NAS Restore enabler is installed with the agent and the client is an available destination for the restore of data from a network attached storage client. Enable Office Communication Server Backup enables to perform backup of data associated with the Office Communications Server. Track access time for computers running on Windows Vista 2007 and later, the access time of files are not updated by default. Select the track access time to accurately update the access time of files when they are selected or accessed. Stub recovery parameters. Select this option to enable the following parameters while recovering stubs. Maximum stub recovery. Enter the maximum number of stubs that you want to recover in the time window that is specified in the time between recall to count as successive in seconds box. 
you can enter any value greater than zero. Time between recall to count as successive in seconds. Enter the time in seconds, to perform the maximum number of recalls that is specified in, the maximum stub recovery box. When this time window is reached, the stub recalls that can occur before the next time window starts will fail. Please note, that the time between recall to count, as successive in seconds, is a rolling time period. Time to wait after maximum successive recalls limit is reached in seconds. Enter the number of seconds that the software must wait, before a new stub recovery operation can begin, after the maximum number of files have been recalled in the time window that you specified in, the time between recall to count as successive in seconds box. Description. Use this field to enter a description, for example a change or incident ticket number. Activity Control tab. Use this window, to enable or disable activities such as data management, data recovery. Enable backup. If this option disabled then data protection activity, for this agent will stop. Once disabled, you have a choice to enable it after a delay. Also note, disabling backup activity will cause the sub-client to be excluded, from SLA. Enable Restore. If this option disabled then recovery operations, for this agent will stop. Storage Device tab. Filter Storage Policy. Displays the filter storage policy for delete data by browsing, that is associated with this agent. Use the list to change the filter storage policy for delete data by browsing. Let's review the options available for other backup, or archive sets. Right click on backup set, hover over all tasks. You can start backup of all sub clients, associated with this backup set, using this option. Browse and restore. This is used to search for files needed for recovery and once selected start restorer of those files. We will make a separate video on various ways to browse and recover data. Manage network share. You can export the backup data, as a network share. It is the Commvault 3DFS solution, that allows you to export the backup data, as NFS or CIFS shares, so you can use the Windows Explorer, PowerShell, or command line, to copy the files for restoring data. One key feature of this is, simplified browse and restore operations, because the exported backup data is available as a regular file system. If possible, we will try to cover this option in a separate video. List snaps. It lists the snapshots of the data, created by the Intelli snap backup. You can view volume or disk related information for the snapshots. Find. The Find feature, lets you search through backed up data, and restore it from the search results. You can start a find operation at the backup set, or sub-client level. Restore by jobs. This feature provides the facility, to select a specific backup job to be restored. This method of restoring data is considerably faster, compared to other ones. We will discuss more in detail, both find and restore by jobs, in another video, that we create for browse and restore. Operational window. We discussed about this before. Delete data by browsing. This method supports deleting data from a backup or archive. The data selected will be permanently removed, from all the backups, and will not be available for recovery. Which means, this method deletes all versions of the data, across all backup and archive sets, that are configured under a client. You can create a new sub-client using this option. Hover over, new advanced sub-client. DDB, when a storage policy with deduplication is enabled, by default, DDB backup sub-client is created, under the media agent client where the deduplication database is hosted. If the DDB backup sub-client is deleted, you can create a DDB backup sub-client, to replace it using this option. New reference copy sub-client. 
you can restore selected objects from backed up data, and then save a copy of them, which is a separate copy. This copy is called a reference copy. For example, legal hold, which requires various copies with varied retention. We have already discussed view options, and add to favorites. Properties General tab The name of the client computer iData agent type, which is file system Name of the backup set If it is an on-demand backup This is the default backup set, hence the option is grayed out Sub-client policy, if any applied Backup sets with user-defined sub-clients do not qualify to be associated with a sub-client policy Index Server The index server listed here holds the indexes for the backups, taken for this backup set. Let's review the options available for the other backup and archive sets. Ideally, they should remain the same. The options remain same for the custom backup set. You can make the custom backup set to default backup set by enabling this option. You also have an option to enable sub client policy. The options remain same for the manual archive set. The options remain same for the on demand backup set as well. Let's try delete the backup set. Right click on the backup set, all tasks, select delete. Deleting a backup set, deletes all the data backed up under the backup set. On the confirm delete pop-up window, click yes. In the enter confirmation text window, type in erase and reuse media, and then click ok. Let's repeat the same steps for other backup sets. Please note, that the backed up data is not aged until data aging job runs. We will end this video here. In our next video we will discuss on sub-clients, and how to configure them. Stay tuned to our channel by subscribing to it, if not already done. Do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.